Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Jonathan Gardner covering the theory of Python and this is kind of the first lecture on some of the details of the Python language. Um, this is intended for beginners. If you've never programmed before, this is a good place to start. And we're going to cover here a couple of topics. First, what is a literal? In any programming language, a literal is a value or data that you put directly into the program itself through the programming language. For instance, you might have a part of your program that says, you know, plus one, right? Well, that one would be a literal. In this case, it's a decimal literal. So a decimal is a system of notation. It's a way to write numbers. Uh, in this particular case, we're gonna write integers. And in Python, when you write a decimal, you can have any number except zero. So we can have, you can start with a one through nine. And then you can have any series of numbers after that, including zeros, right? So for instance, you can have the number 190, okay? And the reason why you can't start with a zero is because of the confusion. In this case, this looks like it could be octal. And so this isn't allowed in Python. Now you can have zero or any number of zeros, right? These are all okay and these are considered valid. And in Python, you also are allowed to use the underscore, right? To group things together. So for instance, if you have 19 million, you might wanna write it out this way. Right? That way you can see that you have three, uh, two groups of three zeros. Okay? This is a decimal literal. There's other kinds of literals we'll cover in a minute. Uh, there's there's going to be binary literals. These start with a zero B. There's going to be octal literals. These start with a zero O. There's going to be hexadecimal literals. Or hex for sh short, that starts with a zero X. Then there's going to be floating point literals. These have a dot in them, or a period, or an E, or a capital E. And then there's also uh, imaginary literals. And these have a J or a J at the end. Okay, so as long as you don't do any one of these three things, you're gonna have yourself a decimal literal. What can you do with decimals? Well, Python is gonna take the decimal number, it's gonna store it in a binary format it's as an integer. And integers are really fundamental to computer science, as they are to mathematics as well the operations that you can do with uh, integers. You have uh, unary operators. Unary means it just takes one argument. So this is gonna include plus a, which basically does nothing, and minus a, which inverts the sign. Then you're gonna have binary operators, as you might expect. You can add two integers together. You can subtract one from the other. You can multiply them. You're gonna use the, the asterisk Okay, you can also divide, and there's two ways to divide. This way is called floor division. If you have two slashes, it's gonna do division, but not, uh, it, it's gonna find the, basically it's gonna round down, uh, round towards zero. So nine uh, double divide two is going to give you four, right? And if you do a single slash, then this is called float division. So if you did eight slash two, that's going to give you 4.0, which is a float, not, a, not an integer. We'll cover floats in a minute in another lecture, okay? And we also have this weird operator, A percent B. This is called modulo. It's pretty common in computer science and in programming. And what this does is it'll give you the remainder after you divide. So this is going to give you one because nine divided by two, the remainder is one, okay? And another one that I wanna mention is the double star. Two asterisks in a row, this is the power. So nine double star two is going to be nine times nine, which is 81, okay? All of these operations are allowed. In addition, I wanna mention ABS. If you do ABS with a, percent, with a parenthesis, then whatever you put inside there, it's gonna take the absolute value of. So if it's negative, it'll turn it positive. If it's positive, it'll leave it positive. And also I should mention that you can also group operations with parentheses, okay? And this, these A's and B's are any expression that you can fit in there, all right? Let me give you some examples of some expressions. So we're gonna go into interactive mode and we're gonna say 10 plus one. Well, that's obviously gonna give you 11, right? And if, if you think about it, this is a literal, that's a literal, and then this here is the expression a plus b, where a and b are two integers, okay? Let's do a more complex one. Let's say we have three plus seven 
raised to the power of 8 floor division 2. Okay, So it's going to do what's inside the parentheses first, left to right. First it adds 3 and 7 together. Then it takes 8 divided by 2, which is 4. So we have 10 raised to the power of 4. That should give you 10,000. All right, now you can use Python as a calculator to do integer calculations. I encourage you to spend some time in the interactive mode to play with these different operations and see if you understand how they work. Also, play with the different syntax of Python literals and see what happens if you type in something that's not valid Python. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this short video. Take care, and bye-bye. This video was part of a series on the theory of Python. You can click on the left to see the playlist and on the right to support my channel. Thank you very much for your time.